Hey guys, my name is DeFree. Welcome back to a late night edition of Summon or Nah. I wanted to go ahead and put this out. I want to try to put these out a little bit quicker for you guys to make sure that you guys can watch these to give you like a different opinion, maybe for better or for worse, as to whether or not you're going to summon on this banner. This is actually pretty interesting because they changed the banner, albeit minor, right? They changed it because of a different reason I'll talk about in a minute. Uh, and maybe that may make you want to summon. I don't know. We'll see. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you are new, please consider punching that subscribe button and the like button. Like goal for this is 800 likes. Should be very easy to accomplish. Hashtag road to 100k simple answer TLDW too long didn't watch whatever uh, is The banner is actually a really good banner and I'm gonna give you guys the reasons why so make sure you strap in because we're gonna go through a lot We're gonna go through rates. We're gonna go through the change to the banner We're gonna go through potential units that you want to run on the kid boo team if that's your interest And we're gonna go over the boo unit specifically and what makes him individually aside from his team a fantastic unit so anyways let's go ahead and get into it so this is the banner so the banner did not originally feature this trunks to be honest I really need this trunks I didn't actually pull for him when he came so since I need him and I it's like of course I have like LR Gohan and stuff I'm really like tempted to summon so just me personally this trunks is literally my main goal in this banner but don't let that confuse you he's not the best unit on the banner or he's far from it right of course Kid Buu is the best unit on this banner this is his banner indefinitely so other units on here are these guys that are featured. Maybe you need Tech Frieza. Maybe you need Janemba. Maybe you need Buhan. Of course, if you don't have Buhan, Buhan is farmable to SA10, so he would be a great acquisition. But you really want Kid Buu and Buhan if you're planning to run that team. So let's go ahead and look at the JP version of the banner. So you see this. I unfortunately don't have the exact rates, but we're operating under the premise that it has the same rates that the Japanese version of the banner did, because that's basically how it's been for every banner that's come to global. So as always, it's a 10% banner. I don't know why people say that villain units have worse pull rates pretty much normal pull rates right 0 0.7 uh 345 on average 699 stones on average <laughs> that's oh man you gotta get really lucky to pull a lot of these featured units that's just the reality but it's better than the non-featured units right look at that omega shenron if you wanted to pull an omega shenron specifically from here you you, you basically have about the same rate of pulling an lr so keep that in mind guys so anyways you have kid boo and all these guys here now the goku and vegeta were featured on this banner they are not featured on this banner because they were actually featured on a banner previously on global so let's go ahead and actually take a look at that it's, it's interesting because this banner came out of nowhere, right? It was one of the banners that Global just randomly decided to pop out, and I think it was actually the Broly banner right here. Yep, so this banner came out of nowhere, and it featured those units on it. So they were featured there, and they actually unlocked the Awakenings for those units then, when in actuality they should have unlocked the Awakenings for them here. And it's weird because they need 35 medals, so you ha if you had them awakened, congrats to you because you ran that stage 35 times as opposed to waiting to run it five times you can get seven medals per drop so it's interesting but they changed the banner and that's probably for the better because i think the trunks is a better unit than both of them anyway uh anyways so as far as the rates go like i said normal banner rates so you can target something specific of course if you need the kid boo physical he's there as well and kid boo is one of the few units that gets a semi farmable air quotes up super attack so what that means is that they put a unit in the banner that's very common like if you saw super 17's banner those two other 17's were really common but they allow you to farm the super attack of these units if you pull these guys, right? So this guy, the buff booth, I think his name is like South Kai or Supreme Kai of South or whatever. Um, in fact, now I'm going to open it because it's going to piss me off. This guy, nonetheless, allows you to farm the uh, super attack of the banner Kid Boo, right? Because he turns into STR Sexy Boo. That's what I call this guy, Sexy Boo. Uh, Majin Boo. Sakio God Absorption of the South. So yeah, the South Supreme Kai Absorb. So anyways, yeah, he Hidokan awakens into this guy, and his name is Kid Buu, and you can feed this guy at UR into the other one to get an SA up, which helps you get SA 10. Now, as far as the team goes, right? Actually, matter of fact, we're gonna get out of this. We're gonna go over the Kid Buu unit next. Kid Buu's unit is right here. He did not get a buff. I've been saying it, but I don't expect him to get buffs because I don't expect them to really buff anything anymore. I just don't think they care enough to, unfortunately. And I was showing his max stats. These are him at max. Almost 16,000 attack. That's like 
these are like base LR levels. So like he's really good actually. A lot of these cards get this, so it's not not want to make it seem like he's the only one that gets it. Of course, he's the extreme intelligence type leader. Uh, immense damage and 12% HP up per super attack. So of course, if you wanted to give him like additionals, you'd be recovering a flat 24% of your overall HP, which could be anywhere between 100,000, 120,000, 180,000, 290,000. If you're running extreme int with double kid boo leads, it could be a lot of HP recovery. And that coupled with Buhan and then the Metamorphosis link and then the Majin link and all these other things, our infinite regeneration right here, that's a lot of recovery on this team. It's not exactly conducive to running big bad bosses, but it's really nice still. Kid Buu gets 170% attack up when above 30% of your HP. What is the problem with Kid Buu? Look at all these attack links, by the way. Fierce Battle, incredible attack link that's incredibly common at these days now. What's the problem with him? No, no key links, right? So unfortunately on his team on his own team it's forced to overcompensate by running a lot of key supports to make sure that your two kid boos assuming you're running yours and a friend are able to super attack consistently but what is the alternate usage for kid boo now it's unfortunate but the next best team for this guy would be on a villain team and global is in a very interesting position because their goku black is Man, it's such a big deal that Physical Goku Black got that three key passive. So what happens is this kid Boo is able to super attack consistently on that team and winds up being one of the best possible villains you can run. If you're interested in running a villains team, he's basically one of the best ones you can ever put on that team to this day. You know, even when Janemba come out and things like that, he's still gonna be on that team. So he's an incredible unit and he's a lot more viable on that team than he is on JP, unfortunately, because he does not struggle from the same issue, assuming you have Rose and Goku Black physical. So that's one reason why you ain't wanna go for him. Now, I will say that once again, it's unfortunate that, they, that uh, hero and villain teams are kind of falling out of the meta because 50% isn't that much, right? But in the future, that could change via other categories or like a better hero villain lead, at least like 80 or 90% hero villain lead. It'll be ridiculous. Kid Buu will be incredible on that team. So keep that in mind as well. If you're interested in that, because I know that those teams can still beat these events, right? So keep that in mind. That's one thing that people are overlooking is Kid Buu is phenomenal on that team. He'll be one of the best ones you can run. But speaking of his own individual team, <clears throat> So going over his own individual team, these are the options that I would say are basically the best ones. Forgive me if I forgot anybody specifically or like, you know, I didn't put in specific units like this Ice Shenron or, you know, other things. There are other units that can fit, you know, King Piccolo, General uh, Blue, depending on the need, right, or in your box, right? Golden Frieza can fit too. So depending on the need in your box. So Kid Buu, like I said, is interesting. His team is forced to run a few different support units. Now on the right, I have a bunch of different support units ranging from Key Up, to orb changing and then on the left i have some of the more standard units that you would use on the team for, as far as like tech goes right as far as being able to deal your damage and such so of course this guy is not available yet he comes on the max intelligence band which may be next to be fair i don't know but it may be next so he's a three key 40 percent support for kid boo you definitely will want him and kid boo of course the next best unit on this page period is buhan so you're gonna want those three uh, aside from that, you have a lot of option. If you want to incorporate uh, Turles for the three key and 20% attack increase, you can, along with the trunks for the three key and 30% defense improvements. That's interesting, a little bit different. You can do that as well. Or if you wanted a little more attack and defense of a blend, you can give Meta Cooler in there, but he only offers the two key, which could be an issue. This Deborah does not awaken yet. He's the Baba Shop one. He only offers two key and a potential 30% attack and defense via the passive, I think it's a great chance to activate it. This guy is a really, really good unit for changing orbs to rainbow. He could fit incredibly on this team. Of course, now, if you're running, you wanna run like three of those guys. You know, whatever the the breakdown is, you wanna run three of these guys. So, if you're running three of those guys, you have these two, that means you only have one slot left, unfortunately. Now, Hit's a good stunner. He fits well on the team, but the problem with him is he only links with Buhan for key, and he would probably be off rotation or be on the second rotation with Kid Buu. Now, aside from that, Android 19, or 17, excuse me, a 19, <laughs> uh, he's really good, right? He's really good on the team. He's self-sufficient. He's a hard hitter, but again, he's going to be on the rotation with Kid Buu. So you want to have a unit that can link well with Kid Buu, and unfortunately, that's only really these two up here, Janemba and uh, Baby. Now, Baby is actually interesting. He is able to, can I not pull him up? Can I not? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, anyways, he's able to lower the enemy's attack if you want to run that. It's very useful alongside, you know, Jin, uh, the Buhan and stuff like that. He also gets 100% up, <clears throat> has very solid links such as Big Bad Bosses and Fierce Battle. Also has Thirst for Conquest. 
Uh, he also has the DT link. So, of course, that Trunks is a little bit better if you're running a unit like Baby. For example, this possessed Trunks, so you can do that. Janemba is, of course, a more stable option, so it's up to you what you want to do there. That's basically the team, man, honestly. So, last but not least, once again, we're going to go over the Kid Buu unit just to give you guys a little bit of a breakdown. So, once again, Extreme Int, Immense Damage, 12%. 170% up, assuming that you're above 30%. Big Bad Bosses and Fierce Battle will basically always be triggered on this team. Primarily Fierce Battle, Big Bad Bosses will come and go, but it can activate in the middle of the turn, depending on when you take damage. A lot of the Majin links, like Wall Standing Tall, Majin, uh, I don't know if Infant Regeneration or Meets, these two actually I don't think were, are triggered most of the time, but <clears throat> he's having most of these links with Buhan pretty much all the time, in fact. Let's actually go back to that and see what he links with Buhan for. They share four links. And they are Big Bad Bosses, Fierce Battle, Buon's Kamehameha, and a couple other things. Shocking Speed. So they're not going to share those. Can you show me? Show me the links. No? Are you, are you not? Let me zoom out. No? Okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> All right, game. Or game, show. Uh, computer. Thingy my Bob, it's late. It's like 1 a.m. Let me do this. Uh, where's the Kid Boo? Kid Boo? Kid Boo? He'd be right here, actually. They share. Dun dun dun. Really? Oh, there it is. Big Bad Bosses, Majin, Fierce Battle, and Wall Standing Tall. So, that's a lot of attack. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Like I said, I think you should summon, in all seriousness, if you're running, if you want to run an extreme int team, keep in mind it may be hard to find a Kid Boo friend. I can't really do anything about that. Um, if you want to run villains, he's great on that team as well. If you want to just have fun with the game, you know, I, I generally say, hey, summon when you want to summon. The whole I'm going to save for this, it's not going to last forever because there's always going to be a better banner to save for. So keep that in mind. Summon for what you want. Kid Boo's awesome. His team is awesome. Only problem with it is that he does not have a key link. He'd be so great if he did. It'd be a lot better. Like, it probably wouldn't be one of the better rated teams because you wouldn't be forced to run three supports all the time. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.